Shamai GTA chums. Today we're going to go back into Los Santos Tuners and we are going to look at the test track and some of the races that are available in there as well as testing some of the cars that you can buy which is nice so let's dive straight in. So I've already told you that I was a fan of the Celica and the Supra so those are two cars you can drive but my absolute favourite has always been the Porsche 911 Turbo so what we have here is uh, the Porsche 911 Turbo GT3 equivalent, the S3. So we're going to take that for a test drive. So let's just uh, enter with other players. You can also enter alone if you want, but let's go to the test track and see how it performs. Okay, so what we're going to do is select the menu, so M to get into the... Uh, menu and you go to time trial so Los Santos tuners and time trial and that will allow us to do a little bit of a time trial around the track so you see the old uh, flag there I'm on the wrong side here so I'm gonna go around the other side I've got I think I've got all the other Porsche 911 equivalents in GTA so it'll be interesting to see how this compares okay t standard kind of time trial it's gonna show these yellow um, blobs and you're going to drive through them any which way but loose as long as you hit hit them it's a tight course as I've mentioned already so it's going to be valuable for the non supercars the um, sportier kind of car that um, can hopefully do a decent handbrake turn which is not necessarily the Porsche 911 kind of series um, which is quite a, quite a grippy little car the engine sounds the same as the other Porsches, so uh, nothing of a surprise there. I like the look of it. It's, uh, it offers something a bit new, and I think that's, from the handling of it, is the main thing to offer. But I suppose you should bear in mind that um, this is an untuned version, so once you tune it up, your performance is going to increase markedly. So I think I will be buying this car because, I'm a, as I said, I'm a Porsche fanatic. I may even buy it for full price. But if, this, if the discount is achievable, I'll be, I'll be there, I'll be all over that. This is a car that isn't released, whereas the other two, the Calico GTF and the Jesta RR, have been released. So there we are, we've reached the end. A minute and eight, but I did actually do it in a minute and four. That's a bit of an interlude. Let's have a look at um, what we can do. So I've removed my personal car there, and I'm going to phone up the old uh, mechanic, because you can call him when you're in this building. How good is that? So you can swap cars whenever you want. So I'm going to select uh, my Weevil, and um, that's the car you saw at the start, the uh, the Volkswagen Beetle, which was doing the wheelies. Dude, where's my car? I just have a bit of a dude, where's my car moment, is because annoyingly he, ha he hasn't put it in the same place that it was. Um, because I removed it, why not? Why would he? Um, so there it is, that's where my car is. Okay, so what other races have we got? Um, so you can go to your interaction menu and select head to head which i thought was a drag race so i'm driving this like a drag race so bear that in mind so i've got my mate here on the left my new found mate got my wheelie off nicely no problems there oh but he's completely bum steered me oh nice i don't that's not nice is it i had a good wheelie then i was ahead of him uh, see, so I've driven it like a drag race, but apparently what you have to do is go end to end in a big circle. So this is not what the Weevil's made for. <laughs> um, there is one other race as well. So we'll just finish this off just to show my loss um, in its completion. So fair play, the other guy beats me hands down here. Um, but this is really made for a drag race. He's got his uh, other car that's made for this. <laughs> Uh, race to checkpoints. This is a scramble race, right? And to me, I didn't notice a great deal of difference. Basically, you have these scramble points appearing um, at, ran at seemingly at random, and you've got to head to each one. Notice the arrow on it. That's showing how tight a turn you need to take, what angle you need to take for an exit strategy. And there we are. We're heading back to the other one. So, again, I didn't do great against my, my chum here. He completely uh, stormed this one and had no problems. Uh, so those are the two races. I think they are good races, um, but they're not what I expected. And I think I would have preferred a, a bit of a drag option. I don't know if that's going to come in later, um, but we definitely need a drag race. At the moment, you have to do it by yourself. So I think these are fun races for with, friend, with friends, and I didn't select the right car whatsoever for them. You need something a lot better than the Weevil. 
Um, not that I'm blaming the car, because I think I would have had a chance. <laughs> Half a chance. But the other guy's pretty good, actually. Yeah. So, what we did, um, we arranged a bit of a drag race then. So, well, actually, first off, we should probably look at rearranging another race. So, I wanted to get straight back into it, try the head to head slash weird drag race. Um, but notice that they are greyed out because there is a cooldown period. With your own drag race, you launch on the third horn. I don't think my friend was quite ready there, but he wasn't far behind. But I got off a good launch. I think I would have beat him anyway. So that is a victory for me. It's a victory for Los Santos Tuners. So in conclusion, there's some pretty good uh, races here. I like. I think I'll, I'll grow to like the head-to-head -head and the scramble. When I get to playing these races with a few friends, I think that's probably where it's most centred. Um, because the, at the moment, there doesn't seem to be enough randomers to make it fun. You know, you don't have first, second, third. It's not enough of players. Um, head to head is only two player. I think the scramble is two to four player. Uh, and that's that's where we are with the, the races. Um, the test cars are a really good addition. Gives people a chance to test, try before they buy. So I'm really glad that Rockstar's finally introduced finally introduced that. You kind of wonder why is it taking them so long. I, I just wish they'd go to the next step and allow you to test a car that's fully upgraded to the max as well. That would be the ideal. So yeah, I think you should uh, go out there and try the test track and see what you think. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this and how you're doing. And um, yeah, if you found this useful, do like and subscribe. There will be more Los Santos Tuners content coming out. There's plenty more already in the shoot if you want to check that out. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much to my subscribers as well for helping me out. And uh, have a great day.